So I'm about the new Yugo Boss bottled Absolute, and this is going to be my first impressions of this fragrance. So I was actually hesitating for at least like 30 seconds or so because one of the newer releases from Yugo Boss, the Elixir, was a fragrance, uh, I mean, I think it's a nice fragrance, but it didn't blow me away. But this thing is actually growing on me, even though that sort of a growing takes a bit of time. However, when I saw this thing right here, I'm not sure if you can see it, this has leather in it, I decided to buy it straight away. I mean, if you're a subscriber, which you are, right, come on, hit that subscribe right now, then you know that I absolutely love the scent of well-made leather. Let's just hope that this is a good one. Some of the notes in Boss Bottle Absolute are frankincense and leather. Then we have Myrrh Absolute and Patchouli, and at the base we have Davana and Cedarwood. So Boss Bottle Absolute is supposed to be a Parfum Intense. Let's try it out. And let's try it out up in the air first. Okay, this smells niche. This is probably, probably the most niche smelling fragrance I ever smelled coming from Hugo Boss. And here's the thing, at least to me, quite a few of the Boss bottle flankers, with the exception of the newer ones, have felt sort of uh, generic, and I rarely use the word generic. Boss Bottled Absolute, however, definitely smells niche. It definitely does not smell generic. And even if I compare it with what some of the other perfume houses are releasing nowadays, this definitely stands out with its sort of a niche style. So that was up in air. Let's try this thing on skin. So this has a bit of smoothness to it, especially off skin. Off skin, this is a lot smoother than up in air, but at the same time, this has a dry kind of feel to it. So the opening intensely woody with quite a prominent dose of smokiness. So a noticeable smokiness, but this at least to me is not of the super intense, incense kind of smokiness. And the whole thing has a bit of ambery warmth and shine to it. And it's woodiness, at least according to me, and at least based on this first impression, is more of the sort of a dry kind than something that is super creamy smooth. And there's also a bit of that leather in the opening. The leather was the main reason why I bought Boss Bottle Absolute. So in a way, I'm a bit disappointed because I was hoping for something more intense. But yeah, let's wait for the dry down. As Boss Bottle Absolute heads into the mids, I'm finally getting a bit more of that leather. And that leather here is not of the super raw or deep or heavy kind. This to me is quite a smooth kind of leather. <sighs> yeah, I also feel that its amberness is growing in intensity as this thing heads into the mids. So the mids, woody, smoky. So the smokiness from the opening is still present in the mids. It also has quite a noticeable aberness to it. It is a bit spicy. And finally, since I absolutely love the scent of leather, the leather comes through a bit more. So the dry down, I'm hoping, hoping, hoping for the leather to be more intense in the dry down. Okay, slightly, slightly more intense leather in a dry down. This is a very smooth kind of leather. If you are a leather freak like me, and see the notes here and are hoping for this to be like a super intense kind of leather, then do not expect, I mean, maybe this will come across like that to you. However, this to me is definitely not about leather first. This is woody first. Its woodiness has become a bit sort of a richer and fuller in the dry down. So the dry down in a nutshell, woody first, the amberiness is still there. The smokiness, and this is interesting, the smokiness, at least to me, has sort of a softened up as this heads into the dry down. There's a bit of spiciness to Boss Bottle Absolute, even though I do not consider that part to be that prominent. And the leather, which is pretty much the main reason why I bought Boss Bottle Absolute. It is a bit more prominent in the dry down. I would have loved for that part of the dry down to have been more intense. So yeah, this is in a way 
a sort of a leathery scent, but this is primarily woody with a bit of leatheriness. You have that smokiness, you have that amberiness, you have a bit of a spiciness. This smells good. It definitely smells good. It definitely smells niche. But yeah, I'm a bit disappointed because I was hoping for this to be leather first. So here are my initial thoughts on compliments and mass appeal. This in the opening is definitely less mass appealing than the dry down. When it dries down, its smokiness gets a lot sort of a softer and this becomes a lot more likable. With that said, this doesn't have the same sort of a mass appeal as other fragrances that are sort of a more sweet. When it comes to performance, I really don't know and I will have to get back to you on the performance later on. However, based on how it sort of oozes off my skin and how it lingers in the air around me, I do think that this is sort of around strong. I mean, look at the juice right here. This definitely feels like a long lasting, quite strong scent. So here are my initial thoughts on usage. So like seasons and occasions, while this is not the warmest scent I have, this definitely has quite a prominent sort of a warmth and depth to it. So this is definitely, at least to me, more of a fall, winter and spring scent. And when it comes to occasions, I do feel that this is more of the kind of scent that you wear for special occasions or when going out. So who's Boss Bottle Absolute for? I think, number one, you should enjoy woody fragrances. Number two, you should enjoy a bit of smokiness as well because this has a bit of smokiness to it. Even though I don't think this is the most smoky of smoky, this still has a bit of smokiness to it. Number three, you should enjoy the scent of leather even though at least to my nose, the leather in here is taking a back seat to its woodiness and to its smokiness. This still has a bit of quite smooth leather to it. If you enjoy those three things, then you will probably enjoy this. So let's talk a bit about price. This was this 100 mil was priced at 170 bucks. I had a coupon though, so I paid 135 bucks for this. Now here's the thing, both Boss Bottled Elixir and the Pacific went quite quickly to discount it. So I highly recommend waiting for Boss Bottle Absolute to hit discounters just to make sure you don't pay full retail for it. So what are my final thoughts on Boss Bottled Absolute? This is a tricky one. There's no doubt that this is a well-made fragrance. There's also no doubt that this is one of the most, if not the most, sort of a niche smelling scents ever to have come out of Hugo Boss. However, I did buy this primarily because I was hoping for this to have, to be sort of a primarily a leathery scent. And unfortunately, this is not that. So considering that, I'm a bit disappointed, even though I do like the way it smells. Boss Bottle Absolute smells good. I don't think I'm currently at least, but I will probably do a full review of this later on. Currently, I'm not blown away. So um, yes, in a way I'm impressed. In a way, I'm also a bit disappointed, but there's no doubt that this smells good. Now, I do wanna say one thing, and that is kudos to, and I never thought I would say this about Hugo Boss. Kudos to the house for actually taking their scents in a slightly different direction compared to a lot of other fragrance houses. Hugo Boss releasing niche-like scents. Good stuff. So I would love to know how you feel about the Boss Bottle Absolute. Do you think this is a masterpiece? Do you love it? Do you hate it? Comment. Like this video, thank you. I really do appreciate it. Make sure you hit that subscribe. Make sure you check out the videos over there and I'll see you in the next one.